morning, Silverside friends. Seems hardly possible that it was Father's Day the last time that I uh, spoke with you um, when David was on vacation and asked me to sit in. Um, he had asked me, reached out and asked me to uh, solicit some greetings from our elected officials, uh, which I did and which uh, you will see um, hopefully their video greetings. Um, but I just wanted to touch on a couple of things and, and uh, really appreciate them stepping up um, and providing video greetings and proclamations and such. Um, State Senator Kathy Cloutier uh, provided the Senate tribute um, and uh, State Representative uh, Sean Matthews provided uh, a tribute from the House. Um, Kathy has actually been at Silverside. She was at Silverside actually back in January or February uh, for one of our services and really um, appreciated the feeling of uh, warmth and openness that Silverside uh, provides. Um, the county executive also provided a proclamation which will be in the church um, when we get back to uh, in-person services. But I just wanted to touch on a couple of the points that he included in the uh, proclamation. I won't read the whole thing. Um, but the, the final three whereas is, whereas Silverside Church is a caring community that tries to understand and respond to the teachings attributed to Jesus of Nazareth and the God of his teachings and ministries revealed, and whereas compassion and social justice guide how we make an impact, and aesthetics help us visualize the mysteries of life and spirit, spirituality. We encourage our members to claim their own perspectives, and whereas we are a community that celebrates diversity, any seeker is warmly embraced, regardless of ethnicity, cultural background, sexual orientation, economic situation, or previous religious experience, including no religious background at all. Now, therefore, I, Matthew Meyer, County Executive of Newcastle County, by the virtue and authority vested in me, do hereby proclaim September 7th, 2020, as Silverside Church Day in Newcastle County. So we certainly thank uh, the County Executive for that. Um, certainly, uh, this service isn't anything that anybody uh, had expected when we discussed the fact that it would be the 185th anniversary um, of the church. But just a couple of quick things stood out to me as I researched the history. And, and one can run the, the risk of getting tied up in the history um, of the past. Uh, but I, I think that it's important to understand the history um, in order to uh, make our way into the future. Uh, President John F. Kennedy said, we celebrate the past to inspire the future. Um, and two of the things that uh, jumped out at me was uh, first, um, the Sunday after uh, the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter, uh, the pastor at the time um, who had just been named pastor, um, the Reverend James Stokes Dickerson, was named pastor in March of 1861. So less than a month after he was named pastor, took over the pastorship of what was then Second Baptist Church. Um, the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter in April of 1861, and, and that was uh, a Friday. And then Sunday, he took to the pulpit. He had had the pulpit draped in the American flag, and he um, gave a sermon entitled, uh, the duties of this hour and called for patriotism and loyalty to the union and in it he stated anything but disunion poverty sooner than disunion um, and it said that after the sermon concluded the entire congregation broke out into a rousing rendition of america the story uh, also holds that president lincoln later credited reverend dickerson with saving Delaware for the Union um, and preventing it from uh, seceding and joining the Confederacy. Another um, thing that stood out was a quote that I found uh, from the pastor of what was still, again, Second Baptist in 1966 when you were still in town. And it was the Reverend Malcolm J. McQueen. And he said uh, in his sermon, religion 
is love in action. He preached sometimes love in action means that we have to brush up against some pretty unloving brothers. There's one basis on which to appraise religion that makes it that, that which makes an appreciable difference in men's lives. Um, I think certainly uh, those two actions and many other actions that have stood out over the history of Second Baptist and Silverside over 185 years makes Silverside what it is today. Um, its commitment to diversity, its commitment to outreach, uh, its commitment to be progressive um, and to be a home for uh, seekers, um, no matter what uh, their religious uh, training or previous uh, inclinations might have been. Um, and so uh, just for me and, and my kids, um, I certainly extend to all of the members of Silverside um, a happy 185th, and um, here's to the future. This is Ciro Papadi, the Register of Wills for Newcastle County, wishing a very warm 185th anniversary to Silverside Church, Pastor Farmer, and all parishioners. Growing up, my parents taught me that the building, the building is a worship center, but we, the people, make up the church. And I know that we are disappointed that we can't be together inside the worship center this weekend to celebrate the anniversary. But no doubt, we the people who are the church remain in solidarity to celebrate. On behalf of the Register Wills office and Newcastle County, I want to thank Silverside Church for your service to our seniors whether it's the Sellers Senior Center or your service to Meals on Wheels. Thank you for that. And also thank you for making our county so vibrant and so wonderful. Your church, the beacon in Brandywine 100. Again, congratulations. Happy anniversary.